Imagine a keyword tool that told you what keyword you should rank for. Allowing me to crush it. In fact, number one, number two, number four, number five, number eight or so. Imagine a keyword tool that you were able to access on your iPhone or your Android phone. Hey boss, what about a tablet, like an iPad? Oh absolutely you can access this awesome keyword tool on an iPad. Imagine a keyword tool that didn't cost you anything. It's available, it's kind of super secret, and that's what we're covering in this episode of Brian GTV. Dig it. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim, amplify your message, and inspire action. The very thing that's needed for success, like inspiring people to click the subscribe button. If you want to get results on YouTube, then it's imperative that you really understand what people are searching for when it comes to the topic of your video and you identify the keyword phrase that makes the most sense for your video and then you use that in your title, your tags, and your YouTube description. Here's the good news. Uh, I actually have been doing some research, like a ridiculous amount. Alrighty, so I've got my folder open, social, and the app in the right hand corner, that's the YouTube Studio Creator app. I'm gonna open that up and uh, this app has got so much information that you can use to improve the results that you're currently driving. Uh, I wanna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Check this out. I open up YouTube, so this is the YouTube app. I'm gonna search for how to add background music to your YouTube. And first off, I, I wanna give you a tip about driving more traffic. When you're starting out, when you don't have a lot of authority, you wanna target search terms that are searched maybe less, but also less competitive. Furthermore, the more targeted you can, uh, well, target keywords, right? In other words, notice we've got some variations here. How to add background music to your YouTube videos, Sony Vegas. Now, if I was editing on Sony Vegas, that would be a, a tremendous keyword to target because those, uh, viewers would be far more likely to watch more of my video that would help me rank. However, notice there's another keyword phrase, how to add background music to your YouTube video iOS. And we select that and boom. Now, what's really exciting about this video is this particular video is now driving 10, 20 views a day, which isn't a ton, but it's enough views to gain just a little bit of, of authority on YouTube in the next month, and that will allow me to rank for even more competitive phrases. And what's even more exciting is, let's go ahead and look at the traffic to that video over the last uh, 90 days. So I'm back in Creator Studio. I'm gonna view my videos, and I'm gonna scroll until I find the video I want. Should be right around here. Here we go, how to add music to your YouTube videos, iOS. I select that now, and then I come in and I select view more under analytics. I click view more, and now notice, uh, we've got a nice upward trend in volume of searches. You can't see it too much, but it's absolutely increasing, and this 28-day average really tells the story. At the end of July, I was driving uh, maybe five views a day, three views a day, seven. And over the last few days, I'm driving 18, 12, 20, 16, 14. So I've effectively doubled my views and I was able to do that by paying attention to what people are searching for. Now here, now if you want to drive more views across your channel, spend some time one afternoon and basically go through your videos one by one and really identify the keywords you're already ranking for.
Now, when you pay attention to what's happening on your channel, it's so easy to improve your results and to drive more views. In fact, if I come into analytics, I click analytics, and then notice the tabs up top. We've got overview, that's what we're on right now. We've got revenue, and then we've got discovery. Really pretty powerful stuff. And I, I wanna kinda show you here, here is uh, my keywords. And you can see how to use iMovie is driving 11.8% of all my search traffic. One keyword phrase is driving uh, a tremendous amount. And furthermore, notice we also have how to use iMovie 2016. So together, we're looking at uh, close to, what is that, about 13%. And here's exactly how I found that term. First, come in and select videos from the navigation. Next, you're gonna want to basically look at your videos that have been published for at least two weeks, okay? Now, here's a great example. Notice we're looking at iMovie iPhone effects, glitch effect slash iPad iOS. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this video. And this is an, an amazing case study because I totally manufactured the ranking for this video. And now I'm currently driving 50 views a day and that's just leading to more overall channel authority. I'm gaining subscribers, I'm driving more views, it's working just as I intended. Now if I come to the Discovery tab, I click in and I can see uh, top YouTube search terms. Now I'm looking at the terms over the last 28 days. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna click seven day to see if they're the same or if much has changed. And notice iMovie glitch effect on 28 days, it was driving 2.7% of my traffic. However, in the last week, it's increased to 4.8. What that tells me is that this particular video is gaining more and more authority. It's ranking for more terms, and this is a great example. Let's search YouTube for TV glitch effect iMovie. So here's the search term, TV glitch effect iMovie, and you can see I'm ranking number two. Not too bad at all. Now, the thing I noticed is I don't have TV in the title. Do you see that? iMovie iPhone effects, and then I have glitch effect iPad iOS. I'm gonna go ahead and include TV glitch effect. Um, and by including TV, I bet you I can nab that number one spot sometime in the future. The other thing I'm looking at is I'm looking at the number one a search term currently and I'm looking at how well are they optimized for TV glitch effect iMovie. So they don't have TV either. So let's go ahead and make that change. I come back to studio, I go back, and now on this tab right here, you'll notice in the upper right hand corner right near my forehead, there's a pencil. If I tap that, I come in and I can change my title. I'm just gonna uh, drop in TV so at this point, you know, these strategies are, are really allowing me to crush it. In fact, number one, number two, number four, number five, number eight or so. And I'm really dominating by really paying attention what's happening in my channel and by really just focusing on what's working. So in a future video, I'm gonna talk about how I manufactured ranking for this video. In other words, I did not have this video. I wanted to rank for iMovie iPhone effects and now I'm number two and I'm driving more views. And you can use a very simple strategy that I'm gonna lay out in a future video. So with that, if you haven't subscribed to me, Brian G. Johnson TV here on YouTube, make sure you hit the red subscribe button right now. I release new videos often that talk about video editing, how to leverage YouTube and grow a successful channel. You know, what's so exciting is this channel is not even six months old and I'm growing at an astonishing rate and I'm on track to easily hit 10,000 subscribers in one year. And I'd love to invite you along on that journey. So hit the red subscribe button. I'll see you in a future video. Lastly, what are your thoughts on being able to rank, identifying uh, popular keyword phrases on YouTube, 
and then you know ranking for those. Would love to get your thoughts. So many very smart people here on Brian G. Johnson TV. Leave me a comment below and I'll see you next time. Cheers.